really big fan of the series. It is a video game series created by uh, Nintendo, and it's a sort of, uh, well, it's a series that's uh, sort of a fantasy RPG in a way. It's different games have different uh, amounts of RPG elements. It's actually quite difficult uh, to describe the game. If you go back, I did a top five uh, Legend of Zelda games, my opinion. Uh, if you want to go check that out, awesome. Uh, if I can remember, I'll leave a link in the description box down below. But um, yeah, it is a series um, that had begun in the early 1980s, it may be 1986, the first Legend of Zelda came out. And it was on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now this was way before I was born, and uh, so I did not own that console. My first experience with The Legend of Zelda was on the N64 GameCube era with Ocarina of Time. And from there I fell in love. Um, some other games are 3D, like uh, the latest games are 3D. Uh, but previously there are 2D games and on the handhelds on the 3DS and the DS there were 2D titles. I personally am just a big fan of the 3D games, although I am aware there's a big following um, for the uh, 2D. Uh, this video is basically just me going to show off some of my favourite pieces of my Legend of Zelda collection and have quite a cool collection, I think, maybe. Uh, yeah, I, uh, it's not just the games, um, it's just all the other stuff uh, surrounding the Legend of Zelda. I'm, uh, that's probably, yeah, it's my favourite video game series. Um, I'm really passionate about it. I think the lore behind it's beautiful. The music in it is just phenomenal. If you just go and YouTube, um, uh, say, like, Ocarina of Time soundtrack, uh, Wind Waker soundtrack, uh, yeah. I believe the uh, mu uh, musical composition is done by a guy called Koji Kondo. It's, it also does uh, Super Mario. It's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. But yeah, so I'm just going to show you some of like uh, the bits of my collection. In no way am I trying to brag. Um, I just thought it might be a cool show and tell. Um, basically, because this week... Um, Twilight Princess HD comes out and I'll be doing an unboxing of that on Saturday assuming it comes in time it has to be delivered in time for me to be able to film it of course but hopefully it should all be uh, dandy uh, sadly I won't be able to do a let's play on the channel just because Nintendo are very protective over their, uh, 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 sort of their copyrighted content which is an argument in itself but not for this video to put you to sleep. So, I think we might as well start off with uh, my first thing to show. Sorry, you can see the camera. like a foam insert, um, a cardboard tray, 
Wizard of the Legend of Zelda before Ocarina of Time, so the last of two main 2D came in the canon. There's uh, a fantasy and reality collide in a land of enchantment. Venture back to rule and an age of magic and heroes. The predecessors of Link and Zelda face monsters on the march when a menacing magician takes over the kingdom. Only you can prevent his evil plot from shattering the land of Hyrule.
collection video. I'm saying I'm sure, but if you joined me uh, recently or in the past sort of few months, then you probably won't know. But veterans out there will know. But uh, this is a bit bigger than an amiibo. This is a figurine of, uh, of a Twilight Princess of Link. Legend of Zelda, 
Stuck helping at all. But it says join translator Clyde Tomato Mandolin on an in-depth adventure through Famicom discs fixed with boards and board games in Buddhism as he explains all the unexpected unusual work that went into transforming the legend of Zelda from a one-off experiment into a global phenomenon. Any good localization starts with the game, but it can't end there. You'll travel through prototypes, players' guides, instruction manuals, and more, because it's a long way from Japan to the West, even for a legendary hero. And uh, a cool little fact about uh, Legend of Zelda that I haven't mentioned, that you may, if you're a fan, you probably already know. But uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, the uh, developer and designer of Legend of Zelda, who also uh, created Super Mario, based at the first Legend of Zelda of his childhood and exploring caves and forests and stuff of Japan. Which I thought was really cool. So, this is a really nice book. Um, very glossy pages. to show you is actually quite thick and quite heavy and I'm not looking forward to lifting it although it's one of my favourite pieces oh. Oh, man. this is a Legend of Zelda treasure chest so when you get new equipment like uh, swords or weapon, weapons tools like the hook shop it's usually in this chest and it uh, the lid lifts up and a great tune plays and you get the item this is what the design is of and it's quite big it's quite a big chest but basically what we're interested is what's inside This is uh, 
Good night.